Hello, everybody. Um, somebody on my YouTube channel a while back posted a thing they'd like to see an updated video of my work. Um, this is an R32 New York City subway car that I'm converting from three rail to two rail. It is, or was put out by MTH Model Trains, all right, and um, these actually ran on three rail track. And I actually got to drive these things when I was a motorman in New York City. It was some of the first subway trains I operated. Anyway, I decided to convert, so I converted my trains to two rail a while ago, um, following somebody else's practice uh, many years ago, who started doing it with IoT cars. I decided to take it one step further and do it to these cars here, along with some others. And what you're looking at is the car body, the floor, and this piece of interesting hardware right here is a light bracket for the front cab of the car, which you can see the end destination signs, the marker lights, the express and local lights, and the four headlights and taillights, or two headlights and two taillights. The taillights at the bottom, the headlights are above. This light bracket, and you see these four tubes here that I cut and put out in there on this light bracket made of styrene tubing. Um, the bracket is an ABS bracket, so the Tesla's model cement did not work on it, so I have to use crazy glue, like super glue, and um, glue them in place so they stay better after, re after filing them down to fit, because they have to be fitted just right. So it's more of a trial and error, file it down a little bit and test fit, and then file it a little bit down more and fit, test fit. Um, I converted this from three rail to two rail using um, the MTH side frames that came with the car. Um, and I fabricated my own trucks using the MTH side frames and wheel sets and magic carpets I ordered from Northwest Short Line. Um, I also used a piece of brass, all right, um, about 60,000 thick that I cut and fabricated myself and drilled, and also drilled and fabricated and soldered a piece of brass on the inside the car to mount the trucks to a body bolster and a truck bolster. So the truck has their own bolster, the body has a brass bolster, 60,000 also, to mount the trucks to. This, all these wires here, is from a blue rail board that runs on battery power Bluetooth control, meaning you're, the train is going to be operated by the Bluetooth feature on your cell phone or tablet using an app you can download on the Apple Store, iTunes, or the uh, Play Store on Google or Android. Okay. Um, there is a harness right here <clears throat> that I got from Train Tech, okay, um, in in Massachusetts. This is an eight. This connector right here dovetails or matches perfectly with the connector here for the Blue Rail board. They actually go right together. So if you have a non-DCC equipped train, which one that doesn't have DCC, you can equip it because these motors have the same color coding as this Blue Rail board, okay. And they serve the same functions, whatever functions you want to give them for. But usually it's um, gray, black, orange, and red for the motor and uh, track power. And um, the rest are for lighting controls, okay? The only extra wire that I see that I might have that does, this might not have is I don't think it doesn't have a purple wire. Um, this is supposed to be for an ancillary or auxiliary light function on the blue rail board. <clears throat> The blue rail board allows for up to four devices to be lights, smoke, whatever, for four lighting period pieces. Um, hence why I'm putting it, attaching it to some of the LEDs in here, because in here is going to be LEDs in the front end of this car that are going to light up whether it's uh, running in one direction or the other. It's going to be de direction dependent. So, and um, these also, this white LED is going to go in the center right here in the center light of like a third eye or whatever, you know, an eye in the middle of this bracket, which is going to light up the end destination sign right there, okay? That end destination sign. Why one LED? Because this way it does a good job. It's like, it's simple that way, you know? I already have the wire, the taillights and the, power, the headlights in together between this car and its mate, okay? So it'll be running... Um, four taillights and four headlights, along with one on each end of these, okay? So, that's going to be a lot of wiring as it is, and there's going to be a plug between two cars that you can plug and unplug, okay? Um, probably um, just a simple two-voltage two plug or something like that, you know, for, to, just to, um, like a two-prong plug. Maybe I'm, I'll have to see what I can come up with as far as that goes. Anyway, <clears throat> the... Um, so 
the guy who was interested in the progress, and besides, I figured it's way overdue for a new video anyway. Um, you can see that um, I started doing the mounting, okay, of the floor to the body. Um, I have the trucks installed, okay, with the magic carpets there. And I even had to make a small bracket, okay, to house, to a, as a brace. You can see it right there. As a brace, right in here, it's an L-shaped brass brace that I hand drilled and hand cut and hand bent to brace the Northwest Shoreline Magic Carpet on, okay? So, this way, um, you don't have any problems with the Magic Carpet moving while it, you know, or shifting or anything like that, you know? <clears throat> Much like, somewhat similar to what the, problem with the prototype does, okay? So, yeah, I'm starting to get done on the wiring here. Now, the next thing I have to do is I have to go and get a super glue of some sort to install the LEDs over here on the back of the thing to, and then go ahead and set them in place, put the LEDs in, run the wires in, and um, the, the pigtail that I have here is going to be connected to the LEDs and the magic carpets, but not directly. It's going to be like um, pieces of uh, PCB board that are going to be installed on the rest of this car floor that they're going to be soldered to, you know. So, yep, this is my progress on this thing so far, and it's even going to have interior lighting too, which is evidenced by the, the uh, two wires over here, which run up to, which is supposed to go to be powered, but um, they're supposed to go to the other end of the car, but I'm using this pad here that came with it. Um, that's connecting two springs that are on the bottom of the car body right here, okay, which in turn can move a juice to run the, the interior car lights. So it will have interior lighting as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, please just let me know. You know, say something, comment, whatever. If you like it, okay, good. If you don't, oh, well, I'm sorry. But, oh, I also drilled and made it temporarily um, an MCB coupler in here because I did not want to use those big couplers that they put on the truck, on the cars. And I mounted it to the car body with a screw that's hidden underneath the floor. But you can see there's the uh, coupler right there. It's mounted on a piece of brass square rectangular, brass square rectangular tubing. It's a KD, a simple KD with a medium shank. Um, <coughs> I may have to change it to a longer shank or put a longer coupler piece on the body just so that um, um, it has the proper spacing between the cars, you know. So this way the cars can uncouple and I can uncouple them if I want, you know, at least for now until I work out something better. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.